this is our first graphics tutorial. I'll show you what we'll end up with. Sorry about that. So this is the form we'll create. We'll show you how to draw all these objects on on the screen. Of course, to begin, we need to open up Microsoft Visual Studio. We can close the start window. And just to make sure we're all on the same page, if you go to Tools and then Options, Projects and Solutions, General, and make sure that Save New Projects when created is checked. If that is checked, then whenever you open up the New Project box, this is what you'll get. You'll be able to create a directory for the solution. We're going to call um, call this graphics 101 let's go ahead and change the name or not the name rather but the text of our form to graphics 101 you can see that's done here and the form is uh, does not need to be resized we'll do that uh, with the code all right, so we are ready to program. Okay, first thing we're going to do is double click on the form. This will open up our code window and let's resize the form. Of course, the you cannot refer to the form itself, so we have to call it by the uh, the keyword me. Let's let the height equal 500 and let's let the form's width equal 700. Right. That's nothing new there, but to add the graphics, we have to come up into the declaration section of our class, and we have to declare a graphics object, and that's simply done. We're going to call it G. We can call it graphics or my graphics or whatever, but G is short. We're going to use it a lot, so uh, make it short, and we're going to um, declare that as a graphics object enter and you get your little line okay now we have to tell it we have to we're back in the form load again and we have to say uh, what object is going to get the graphics and so G is going to equal me create graphics the IntelliSense doesn't work until you get to the G but there you go so now we have um, established that the form is going to be our graphics canvas now let's clear it. Uh, we're going to clear the form with our, our graphics clear, and we're going to, I'm going to call it, I'm uh, going to make it yellow. And now the rest is going to be pretty quick. So um, let's draw some empty rectangles. I might um, comment this. Or right, some empty shapes, rather. So G dot draw rectangle. Okay. Now you can see here there, there are three different ways to do this. I'm going to click on the down arrow just to show you that we're going to add a pin, an X value, which is the top left hand corner of our rectangle, a Y value, which is the, um, well, also the top left hand corner. It's the vertical component, vertical coordinate of our top left hand corner, the width of our rectangle, and the height of our rectangle. Sorry about that. I'm going to make it blue. I forgot to do the color first. And then the X coordinate. And then the Y coordinate. And now we're looking for the width. Um, the width of my uh, rectangles I uh, just choose to be 50. And 30 is going to be the height. Alright. So, uh, so it looks like that we're done. And if we press F5 or if we run it, you'll get maybe a little surprise the form is empty all right and the reason for that is that we drew the form drew on the form and then we loaded it and by loading it later um, it erases what's on there so what we want to do is after we declare the size or define the size and the and the uh, the height and the width of our form we want to well, oops sorry we should actually show the form me dot show Okay, so now if we run it, 
voila. And there you see a empty blue rectangle in the top left hand corner. All right, let's add some more shapes to our form. Stop the application from running and let's come here. Oh, I should should mention that whenever we are done with our graphics, we should dispose of um, our object. That will free up some resources for the computer to do some other things. It won't really affect us in this um, in this application, but it's always a good idea to do so. All right, let's make a let's make a square. I'm going to make this one a red square. I'm just going to move 100 pixels over. So I'm going to the X is going to increase. Everything else will stay the same. Well, the the, the Y will stay the same. And let's make it a 30 by 30 square. You, I'll run it one time here. You can see what this will look like. Okay, nothing fancy. I'm just going to show you a few more things. We can draw circles and ellipses. I always forget the draw command. I'm going to make this one a green one. Just moving it further down the right. This is going to be an elongated ellipse. The width is going to be 50 pixels and the height is going to be 30. I'm just going to continue on here. We can also draw a circle with the ellipse command. I'm going to make this one crimson. Alright, so we've just moved down the line. Alright. And then one more, let's draw a line. Uh, now the line, as you can see here, needs not only a pin color but the X and Y coordinate of one endpoint and the X and Y coordinate of the second endpoint. Okay, I'm going to make my line black. Sorry about that. Okay, so as you can see here, we're essentially filling up the first line of our form. So let's run it. All right, there you go. Rectangle, square, lip, circle, line. Nothing too terribly difficult there. We can also draw arcs. So I'm going to draw a small arc. I'm going to make it black as well. I'm going to start here at 500. So this is the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. Nothing new there. 510. The width of the arc is 50. Well, I'm going to make mine 50. So it's going to be a circular arc. And now we begin with the start angle. I want it to start at 0 degrees. This is um, relative to the X axis from your math class days. And then I want it to rotate 90 degrees. This is going to be clockwise 90 degrees. And you can see that this is going to be a small arc. I'll run it. And you should get this little clockwise arc. I'm going to make a little bit bigger arc. Again, black. Nothing really new here, but now I'm going to start it at 180 degrees. Think about where this might occur, and I'm going to go to 270 degrees in a clockwise motion. Let's see what that looks like. Oops. That's the problem. Sometimes the form doesn't... Um, it, there you go. 